Tutorial hell is to the modern age programmer what the Black Death was to the average European in the 1300s. A fatal affliction that'll be the end of almost half of us. Fortunately for you, I am the Plague Doctor. And where there was no cure for the Black Death, there is a special set of secret tips and tricks that you can employ to escape this often perilous inevitability. In this video, I will be sharing with you all the secrets and strategies you need to overcome this plight and become the 10x super hyper mega developer that you were always destined to be. As always, if you enjoy the video, smash the like and subscribe buttons. And with that all said, let's begin this story by first understanding what tutorial hell actually is. Picture this, you're learning to program, you're embracing project-based learning, which is the preferred strategy for learning to code, and you're taking advantage of all of the free YouTube tutorials there are out there on the internet, like the ones on my YouTube channel, to learn to code, show you all the best practices, and build these absolutely wicked applications. That might feel like an absolutely brilliant strategy for learning to code, and I would say it's 50% of everything you need to know. However, if that's all you do, then you expose yourself to the double-edged sword of self learning and you'll be fully reliant on having a tutor or a tutorial to walk you through the steps needed to solve problems, build applications, design infrastructure, style applications, and do just about everything else that is required to become a competent programmer. Once you take that hand and you relinquish your independence, it's a real pain to break the cycle of needing the tutorial there to walk you through the processes. And it can ultimately be a super demoralizing, soul devouring experience because you feel totally helpless. You feel like a useless programmer, you're doomed to fail, and you'll never be able to realize all of the crazy dreams that a lot of us have. The people who are most commonly afflicted by tutorial hell are the people who venture out by themselves totally alone. They don't have a community or a boot camp or any kind of structure and support network to help them through the process. Obviously, that's not black and white and it exists on a spectrum so technically it could become any one of us and so at the end of the day if you want to reduce your chances of becoming a statistic then it's best you prepare yourself and you incorporate these additional learning strategies into your workflow to manage this experience. Now as I mentioned at the start of the video a lot of people think that the solution is to not do tutorials at all and just try to go it alone without the assistance from square one. Silly advice, terrible tutorials are a brilliant resource and you need to learn how to effectively incorporate them into your workflow. The second thing I see people saying is you need to code independently from day one. This is also a mistake. It's way too hard and it's much too big of a leap to just think you can suddenly go from having the tutorial to not having the tutorial. And that's actually what makes a lot of people feel trapped is that that gap literally is the gap that is too big. And so it just makes it absolutely daft advice. It's like telling someone with anxiety to just not be anxious absolutely ridiculous so the solution is instead step one what we have to do is to absolutely riddle our code with comments as we walk through the tutorial the reason we do this is because it's going to assist you in your learning and understanding of the code you're writing and the concepts that you're applying this is also beneficial because when you upload your code to a github repository it means that you have an extremely comprehensive set of notes that you can always refer back to and I also recommend when you write these notes you want to write these notes as if you were explaining them to to someone else and the reason this technique is so beneficial is because teaching other people is actually the best way for you to effectively summarize and learn a concept. If you can teach it, then it's almost guaranteed that you will understand it. The second thing we have to do is adapt all of our projects. It's infinitely easier to take the finished CRUD application that you've just been working on, React Portfolio Tutorial, and make micro adjustments. These micro adjustments will snowball and compound into a macro adjustment to the point where you've essentially replaced every single part of the ship. And then we go into that philosophical debate as to whether or not it's the original ship. In my opinion, it's not. It's a totally new and unique ship. You've essentially coded your own application. However, you had the assistance of the tutorial to lay the foundations, build the groundwork so that you didn't start off with a shaky beginning, which just means that all of the code you later write is going to be bad practices, bad implementation, messy and unreadable. If you find a good tutorial that you like and you leave a whole lot of comments and then at the end you save that code, make a new version of it and absolutely gut it down to its core skeleton. A lot of the stuff on the internet, for example, CRUD applications can be so easily remolded into a totally unique application that solves a different problem. However, you only have to slightly restructure or adapt the logic. You'll have examples of how to write every single type of function. You just make a couple new ones and use the concepts you've applied in the tutorial in the new application. This is how all learning should work. You learn something and you understand it to the point that you can apply it in a new context. These changes could be as simple as just a color change, 
a background change, you could change some of the text, and then eventually they'll evolve into huge functionalities. You might even re-implement an entire database, an entire authentication structure, whatever it may be. The point is the jump in learning is going to be far more digestible, easy, manageable, and achievable if you don't just go out and build your projects from scratch from the ground up. That's just gonna feel really challenging. If you take something that's 70% of the way complete and just modify the last 30% into the application of your desire, that's going to be a much better stepping stone. The last thing that's also worth mentioning is that this is not going to be forever. This is a temporary method that should be used as you're learning to ensure you avoid the perils of tutorial hell. After you do this for a while and you catalog a lot of your code in a cloud storage like GitHub, you'll be able to go back, refer to it for a second, and build your own applications from scratch in absolutely no time. But in the meantime, as you're learning, find a tutorial that uses the technology that you want to use in your own application, build that tutorial, and then adapt it from one into the other. Anyway, I've hounded my point home. That is the ultimate survival guide to escape tutorial hell, or just avoid it in the first place. Learning to code? If so, be sure to check out the Learn to Code roadmap, or dive straight in with these videos. That's a good one.